Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining in today. I'm gonna to be showing you step-by-step step how to paint this pretty landscape with a flowing river and some big rocks around with some beautiful sun rays coming in. Um, we're gonna begin with these colors. We've got neon pink, titanium white, phthalo green, sap green, yellow, burnt sienna, and cobalt blue. You can use other variations of these colors. You don't have to have these specific ones. And I'll post everything in the description below that you'll need for today. I'm going to begin with a flat brush number six. I'm going to take white with just a little bit of blue on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to come from the top here where we want to start adding the bit of sky. And just pull down. We don't have to worry about the shape right now because we're just going to come in with our rocks after we add this little area of light. I love these kind of mysterious, dramatic light and shadow types of paintings where you have uh, a lot of mood set around and this little window of light. I just love that. Okay, so just like that. And a little bit more white, working on a black canvas. I want this to really show up. Okay. So I'm going to go right over to my burnt sienna and tap in like that and take a little bit of that sap green, a little bit of blue and have it on the bottom of my brush and turn my brush over like this and I'm just going to make light little drags. those three colors again and then come around this side kind of just wiggle when you pull gently like this your paintbrush isn't completely covering that black canvas so you're getting that natural rock uh, feel to it take a little bit of blue white, green, and the burnt sienna again, and add a little layer over here where we're going to have some more light, just a little bit of light hitting this. And you can start another layer. So this is very similar to using a palette knife, but this just goes to show you that you don't have to have a palette knife to create or do this kind of technique. You can do it with a brush just by turning it over flat like this. You don't want to push too hard. If you push too hard, then you're going to lose all those little bits of black showing underneath. And you can turn your brush and go across like that to create some different directions and angles on your rocks. It's kind of like, feels kind of like a cave right now. It's kind of neat. This almost looks like it could be a waterfall back there, doesn't it? I'm starting to get some ideas coming to me about how I want to take this painting. That would look really pretty, just having a little waterfall in there. I think while that thought is fresh in my mind, I'm going to take a little bit of that blue and white and just, just drop down like that. Very lightly. So it's there in the background.
And then I'm going to take some more blue, green, and brown. Just to be a little bit darker. And I'll come in with some more colors. a bit of white with my burnt sienna. Maybe right here. Got little pockets of light. Just catching on these rocks right in here. Anywhere you want. Gee, we could even just make make these little little Waterfalls coming down. That's a pretty, pretty atmosphere, isn't it? Just a little bit like that. Feels like we're very safe and we're nestled in a little oasis of our own here. We'll take some blue, and I think I'll start blocking in some blue in here. I was kind of just uh, looking online at pictures today, getting some inspiration, getting some ideas. And Havasu or Havasu Falls, however you say it, uh, was popping up. And I don't know if that's kind of playing a part right now. It's in the back of my mind. Take a little bit of white. But what a, what a beautiful place. That few little we've got some little rocks right in here. Different colored ones. A little bit like that. A little bit of blue, burnt sienna. something like that. Bring some more rocks in here. Pick up a little bit of white. This one's maybe come right down to the water line. And then let's add one that goes right up over here. Look how quickly and easily you can achieve that. So this one I want to add a bit of green and yellow to, right on the tip of my, or the bottom of my brush. There they touch. Looks like moss dripping. And then down in the water. I want to add that in the water too. little reflection. Pick up a little bit more of that blue, make this a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna take my big brush a large blending brush it's a little bit damp and we can just pull lightly like this make it all wiggly looking and then right across let's add a little bit more maybe some green Look down. Put a little bit of water in my brush. And 
just pull across very lightly. I can use this brush too. Just soften a little bit of that up. Let's take some some of that sap green, a little bit of yellow, and we can come in. We've got some little ferns there. Let's just start to play around here with foliage that we want to have. Gotta have those moss covered rocks. So let's add a few of those in there. Little bits of moss like that. Have some on this side too. Always have it reflecting in the water. I'm just going to go back to my little flat brush. I've got little bits coming down like that. Isn't that pretty? some of our burnt sienna, a little bit of white, and add some more little ridges to our rocks, a little bit more white on this one. You can just keep adding and adding. Wherever you want to have a little bit more light coming in. Take some of my white right on the tip of my brush and go right under here and make it nice and bright. Light a little flick down. A little bit more light right there. Wherever you want those.
those little reflections. A little bit. Now, what I really want to do is add more of an emerald green to this water. So I'm going to take some of my phthalo green. I'm going to apply little hints of it. Take a little bit of white with it. And let's see, where else can we add some? Maybe some right in here. Such a pretty color. When you want to add a little bit more shadow back there, the blue, green, and burnt sienna again. We can come right down here. Now if you want a lot of contrast, I mean, you can go ahead and use some, some black. But I think this is dark enough. sure about these rocks over here. Maybe they're just not the right color. Let's try that again. Just some round ones here. And then we can add dark shadow color underneath. Just a little bit like that. I like that better. a little something like that. Go. A couple of them a little bit more light just by adding a little, little bit of white like that. Nothing too, too fancy. Okay, we are going to put some beautiful sun rays in at the very end, but I want to have some more foliage. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add, uh, what brush should we use? Maybe a filbert brush. Let's add some ferns and little leaves from number 16 filbert. We'll take a little bit of white, yellow, and green. And let's just start tapping in here. A little bit like that. Less and less highlights. Okay, and then Bring that back down in the water, and a little bit here. Let's take some white. It's going to be really bright in here, so we're just going to add a bit of a white highlight. A little bit, and then we've got some in here too. And we did put that beautiful phthalo green in there. 
but we do want to have a little bit more of a highlight there or a reflection. And let's take those greens again where the yellow. Maybe we can make a really neat green. Let's take some phthalo. Get a little bit brighter. And maybe in here. Put some little mossy ridges. Little hints of it in here. Remember, we want to keep some mystery and have some dark, so we don't want to add too, too much. And if it's too bright, then we can always just take it off. And right in here, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just scumbling off the paint. A little bit like that. Yep, that looks cool. Looks like a bunch of moss covered rocks up there. Okay, I'm going to take some more of that yellow green we made. Kind of just tap it around. Make my, try to make my brush a little bit bushy on the tip. And a little bit coming right in here around these waterfalls. And I think right in here I want to just take some blue sap green and burnt sienna. I make this a little bit darker. I'm taking a little bit of black now with the burnt sienna. Get it on flat on the bottom of my brush. Do a little bit like that. So wherever I want to have it really dark. I'm going to add that really dark color right there as well. And then just kind of pull and flick up the little lines in the rocks. Let's add that right in between these rocks. Water, it nice and dark, make this a great little shadow over here. Sneak a little bit of that dark color, burnt sienna and black. Right there. Pull and flick into part of that light green reflection that we have. Just a little bit like that. And then I'm going to take my black and I'm going to make this just a little bit darker. A little bit darker like that. Pick a few little areas. Just a few to add that black to. And I think it would be really pretty to incorporate some flowers somewhere. I always like to have in my, if I could create my own little oasis, I would have beautiful pink flowers 
well probably every color flower but I'm just gonna do a few right now for this I don't want to make this video too long so oh, I don't like that brush take my a little mop brush and pink but a neon pink in there so let's see maybe maybe we'll have maybe there's a few beautiful little flowers in here a little goes a long way and then we'll have a little reflection in the water and we'll take a little bit of white blend the white up with a pink that very gently on the tip of my brush have just a little where the rays are going to be hitting it and a little reflection so lightly across Keep it looking like water. So what if we took some blue and some pink and some white? We'd make purple, right? That's a really pretty color. Let's add some of that too. A little bit in there. And a little bit down here. That blue and pink looks really pretty together. Okay, I'm going to get those colors together again. And just... Little bits. Kind of just trailing along those rocks. Add a little bit of white. Just little reflections in the water. Take my white again, come right over here, a little bit of that turquoise that we made, phthalo green, white, and let's pull some right across here. that burnt sienna again. Just add a little bit right under there. Take some burnt sienna with my pink. 
I think right in here I want to add a little bit more of that red then a little bit of a little bit of black make this a little bit darker in here See, if it goes on an angle like this, then in the water it's going to go the opposite way. Now I think I want to add a little bit of green. A little bit of green. Break up a little bit of this pink. So we're going to have to wait for this to completely dry before adding the sun rays coming in. I'm going to do a little bit more by this waterfall. So I'm going to take some white with just a little bit of that blue. And I just want to straighten that out there. I'm just going to make kind of a grayish color, dark, dark gray. Add some more little rocks in there. Okay, so I'm going to dry this off and then we're going to add the sun rays and we'll be all done. Okay, so I actually do just have one more thing that I want to do. I want to um, just add a little bit more detail right down in here, mainly that reflection. So I'm going to go back to my little flat brush and take a little bit of light green that I made with sap and yellow. I'm just going to slide my brush and then pull and drop. And there's going to be a little bit in here too. See wherever here you've got that green foliage up there you want to add a little bit in the water. I'm going to take a little bit of my white and my blue, get a little line on my brush, and just add a few more little round little blobs there for rocks. 
had some just little pulls in the water that went down a little bit too low. But you can easily take it off like that. Okay, well I think that we're ready now. I'm going to take my large flat brush. It's the easiest way to make rays because you have the nice straight edge. You don't want it to look rounded. So what I want to do is have a bit of water on my brush, a little bit, take some white. That's too thick. I need to really loosen it up. Okay, and it's going to be coming in somewhere right about here. And we're going to do ooh, like maybe three or four. So I'm going to start right here. A little bit more water on my brush. right over those flowers. So you want it to be see-through. I'm going to tint it with a little bit of blue this time. Just make this one a little bit hazier looking. I'm going to wipe the excess off my brush and soften this. I don't want to too much up here. Just take a little bit of that off. And add a little bit, a little bit more. Right over the flowers. bit of blue in here. Right over those flowers, make them look soft and blurry. Okay, guys, I'm going to call this one all done. I want to thank you again for joining me, and I hope you learned a lot and got really inspired today. Take care, guys, and happy painting, and I'll see you next time. Bye.